Good day to you again. This is video 10 of the Mudrunner Editor tutorial series. We're going over some more scenery tricks. Uh, this part 2, we're going to be going over what references are and how to use them and place them on your map. Um, for references, references are basically um, well, you'll see, we'll add one, and these folders are just the uh, textures and things like that. You need to scroll all the way down to the bottom, and I'm going to be putting a swamp in. Now, what these references are, are um, basically easy ways to place a big area or a nice sized area on the map fortunately you can't resize them as far as I know nope doesn't look like you can nope you can't size them but um basically these are just like what you kind of see on the map where These dots and those dots are going to be trees, and um, this is a swamp, so it doesn't really have a pathway on it. But these are going to be trees, these are going to be trees, these are going to be trees. So I want to place this so it doesn't cover my bridge. Well, my bridge doesn't have trees in the middle of it, so I'm going to figure out how to place it to do that. It like if I turn it this way. Nope. Figured this out before and testing so I think I'm gonna do it there gonna be trees there I'm going to place it right there like that. And you have to rebuild your terrain. See how it worked out. And right now I placed it over the river. And over the... Good. I lined that up pretty good, but I placed it over the bridge and over the river. Um, how to fix that is you go into the reference and you turn this flattening thing to false and it will, when you rebuild the terrain again, it will take the shape of the terrain however you have it and this is really cool what it did to the river here it made the river pretty freaking nasty in this area and that's pretty good I'm actually gonna place some rocks and stuff in there to make that area pretty cool so I like that I'm actually gonna place a grass road in there so I'm going to use another overlay and I'm going to use grass road I think that makes the most sense to be right there
Um, while we're while I was waiting for the last video to upload, I actually move stuff around, change some stuff like when I was in testing. We're gonna add after. When I was in testing, we noticed those little bumps and stuff. I'm gonna take this right to the bridge. And as always, don't forget to rebuild terrain. and save and there you go that's adding references um that's i add them um you can check them out yourself looks like i'm gonna have to why oh, that looks funky i guess that's a river there might have to fix that or maybe we'll have a river on the wall there and i'll just <laughs> change that <laughs> but anyway that's how to add references um i guess in the next video i think i may share how to i'm going to eventually share anyway how to add custom vehicles to the map and things like that i'm going to try to cover everything in this series but anyway that's how to add references and what they do. I think they're pretty cool. Because of what it did to the river there. See that in testing. I already did it. It's pretty wicked right there in that area. So I like that. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.